Hello, welcome to Baldur's Gate 3. It's me, A. Pristine, and... Cold Run. That's right, we're back together playing another game, but this time we both get to actually play it. I'm really excited about that. So we're doing Baldur's Gate 3. I have... I, I don't know very much about this game. I have seen the opening cutscene once watching a different like let's play but i didn't pay much attention and i don't know i know some of the names of the npcs and some of their personalities but no story stuff not even yeah that's it that's all i know um how about you what do you know about this game i know that there's dice involved and i know that um apparently bears in are like make love to other things i I don't know what but i've heard i've seen memes around bears and romance that's right i think i have too (laughs) so i've seen pictures of the 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 woman with uh like yellowish green skin and no nose that a lot of people are attracted to yeah yeah so that's that's about it we're pretty much unspoiled on this game and i'm really excited to play so here we go time to launch and see what happens. It's the Temtar deep crop boss. <laughs> Oh, I think this is us. Well, like it's going to try to sacrifice us into the pool of shrimp. Oh. Yeah, Maybe it shrimp. Needs... Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> Big Wrath of Khan vibes. Right? Oh, no, no, that's worse. That's worse. Oh. That's way worse. Okay. Yep. No, um, thank you. Nope. Nope. Oh, no. Oh, POV, you're going to go okay. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That's. that's okay. Oh, no. Oh. We could still do Stardew Valley. It's not too late. <laughs> I I had not seen that. Who are you? Oh, I would like pop-ups. Yes, please. Yes. Who are you? That's right. Now we have to do character creation. Um, I know you're going to randomize. I am not. So this might take a little bit of time. <laughs> Because I need to figure out what the heck I'm even doing. Um, okay, so I don't know what's happening here. This says origin custom, origin custom, create a. I see. I want to do custom, not random. Edit appearance. Here we go. Okay. I, th- I think I want to randomize everything except class. Hopefully it'll let me, like, custom, uh, like, randomize it and then, like, tinker with it. So Yeah. Okay. So here's, like, a body type. That's cool. I hadn't actually... I know this is based on D&D, and I have played a fair amount of D&D in my time. Not tons, but a fair amount. And, um... I hadn't actually gotten as far as thinking what kind of race do I want to be. Um... I could make her purple. Oh, that's kind of fun. Moon tone. Kind of like a medium. Lighter purple. Sure, we'll do purple. How often do you get to be purple? The the origin is different from the race, I guess. The 
the origin, I see like origin characters. Are we supposed to pick the same one or different ones or? I'm not sure. You know what? I have an idea. Here's my idea. I am going to have my sister join us for this part because she has played this game nonstop since August and is an expert. So I will share my screen with her so that she can see and help walk us through because I'm feeling really lost in this character creator and I feel like I've already messed things up or missed things. Okay, we're back and now we've been joined by my sister, um, Hat Stand. Say hello. Hello, everyone. And she's our resident expert who will just help me manage this screen because she's she showed me like a, a text as I was trying to create my character. She's like, if you want to be an, not an elf, you have to go back. And I'm like, oh, I've already messed this up. So, okay. So yeah. I think maybe I'm so understanding. My advice is you, you want to save the edit appearance kind of for last. Okay. So you want to choose the other things first. So, okay. Um, Race. You want to custom character, and uh, unless you wanted to play an NPC, but your first time through, highly, highly recommend just playing a custom character. That Perfect. way, the other characters you interact with, you get to see them as they were written, right? Instead of playing them as the player character. Okay. So where it says race elf, you would oh. click there, and now you choose your actual race, and you can see what bonuses or whatever you have. Okay. Moving more. Dark vision sounds good. Resistance to fire damage. Oh. Tieflings are always fun. Drow's pretty neat. Githyanki. Okay, that's what she is. Um, half elf. Halfling, gnome, dragon. Are, mm. I wonder if if races in this game are tied to particular stats, like if you, if I end up doing a sorcerer and I'm like a dwarf, am I just going to be like a, a drag on the party the whole game, or if it doesn't really matter that much? It, it doesn't work that way. The okay. race features you see at the bottom is the only difference. Everything other than that is just aesthetic. Awesome. I'm a, I, oh God, I play a lot of Dragonborn. I just think they're fun. I'm a little bit tempted. Um, I want to do... I think what I've decided on is I do want to do like a sorcerer, like a fire sorcerer. And I think that makes sense the most with either maybe Dragonborn or Tiefling. Or even Elf could be fun. Um, I think if I want something more... If you're a Tiefling, you get a tail, though. Dragonborn get tails... Trying to turn my character. They do actually. It doesn't this show one it here. Doesn't. Yeah. But they yeah, do. The, oh, the she looks so badass. Yeah. yeah. She does look very badass. The other thing to keep in mind um, is that they're like a Dragon Age game. There are romance paths available to you in the game. Mm-hmm. So if that's something that interests you, you might also want a character face that you would find pleasing to be smooching on somebody. <laughs> yeah. That makes a difference to you. That does make sense and probably will, but that's the kind of thing that I tend to care more about on the second playthrough. Although... That makes sense. That tiefling's really cool, too. I don't think I've ever played a tiefling. You know what? Maybe I'll do that just because I've played Dragonborn before. And the tief- tiefling gets extra bonuses, which is pretty nice, too. Okay, I'm decided I'm gonna do a tiefling. Okay. Do you know what kind of uh, class that you're? I think it's class, not job, right? Yeah. What kind of class you're? Uh, you're I'm, interested in? I'm thinking sorcerer. Okay. Is that that's my because I see like wizard and sorcerer. I I just assumed they were the same thing. No, there's wizard, wizard. warlock, and sorcerer. The three different mage types. Hmm. Um, sorcerer, I know from playing D and D, is very much. Okay, well, maybe I don't remember. Maybe I'm remembering this wrong. I know Warlock is charisma-based. No, Sorcerer's as well. If I look over the side, it's got, like, a star over charisma. And Wizard is intellect-based. Yeah, I was right. Warlock's also charisma. What does that mean? Like, that Sorcerer's are all about, like, 
seducing with their charisma and wizards are about setting people on fire so what i'm gonna do now we already have one resident expert i'm about to invite in our second resident <laughs> expert <laughs> which is my husband almeron because he is far and away our D D expert so he's going to be able to kind of explain that stuff i think hat stan could too but uh i just saw from the hallway like a can i join like, yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah you think wrong if you think i could adequately oh, okay. explain oh, that okay <laughs> okay so here he is our D D expert el Marin. say hi hi okay so can you answer cold run's question <laughs> Yes. So Sorcerer, war Warlock, and Wizard are all arcane spellcasters, uh, which is different from divine spellcasters. Cleric and Druid get their spellcasting from the gods or nature. Okay. Uh, arcane spellcasters get it more from the weave of magic or from study. So Wizards are the, are the ones, their, static, uh, their statistic is intelligence, and that's because they study for their spells. Wizards tend to have the most... Uh, variety because you'll have a spell book and as you find scrolls and stuff throughout the game you can add them to your book and then you'll have a lot of stuff you can prepare as you go uh, sorcerers their magic is innate it's for they're born with it and it kind of develops as they grow so you get a, a limited number of spells but um, you don't have to like go out of your way to learn them you just have them mm. um, and warlock is people who get their power from uh, a patron, right? A patron, yes. As opposed to a, a god, they get it from like a devil or an eldritch uh, abomination or one of the fae, like um, the queen of the fairies or whatever, or some other powerful entity gives them a portion of their power usually in return for something that they want from the Warlock. Mm. Um, and the Warlock tends to have the most restrictive spell casting, but also some really interesting um, options that aren't available to the other two. Okay. And Warlock and Sorcerer are both based on charisma for their spell casting, as opposed to intelligence. Which pairs well if you want to have one of you be the face of the party, you can be the one, because the charisma stat also helps with stuff like talking to people, influencing them to do stuff, pers uh, persuading them to do things, or deceiving them, that sort of thing. Mm. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to say screw it. I'm just going to go full random. Whatever the game gives me is the worst <laughs> class and all that. I'm just going to... I think for a second playthrough, I might do something more specific, but... Mm -hmm. All right. Apparently, I am a bard. Okay. Okay. I'm a I do bard. know. I do know that whatever the two of us are, we fill in the gaps of what our party needs with the, the NPCs. So anything you are should be fine. Awesome. I am. Um, so while you, you guys were chatting, I chose my sub race, which is the Asmodeus Tiefling, because they get an extra fire something and i was like that's what i want and now i'm picking my cantrips so obviously i took firebolt i'm trying to decide on the others i'm thinking this friends cantrip looks good gain advantage on charisma checks against a non-hostile creature seems yeah, like it'd that's be a good nice one. okay yeah yeah, I don't need, like, context, but just kind of, uh, oh, that don't start with that, it's terrible. It, it would be nice to know. Because um, I'm not sure what else is useful. Like, is it useful in general, do you think, to be able to, like, cast light, infuse an object with an aura of light? Might, I could see that being useful if we don't have torches. I don't know if we have torches. I'll do that. That seems fun. Okay, so I've got fire... I've got bone chill because necrotic damage sounds really interesting. Is it interesting? Yeah. Does right. damage well, prevent them from healing? Range. Okay. Friends yeah. and light. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And then I choose two spells. Oh my goodness. Okay. Don't need chromatic orb. Don't know what it is, but I don't need it. Um, burning hands. I need that. That one sounds like fire. The nice thing about creating 
<laughs> fire sorcerer is it's very obvious, right? What we what we're going for. If it if it says something about fire, we do fire. Um Shield might be good, something defensive. Oh no, I gotta take magic missile, right? You That's like to. obligatory. <laughs> And I'll get more of these, I assume, as we go. So, and more um, just as a general a general question for the more experienced yes. folks here is, if like, is it, are we putting ourselves in a deep hole if we don't like super plan this out? What we pick at the start, or is this really just like bits and flavor, bits of flavor around the edges that we can fill in pretty quickly? If you're playing um, on the standard difficulty, then yeah. you're totally fine. Awesome. Okay, good. Um, okay, so I have to choose a subclass. Wild Magic, Draconic Bloodline, or Storm Sorcery. I think this Wild Magic seems cool. The Tides of Chaos, Wild Magic, like that feels very fiery. I'm going to go with that. And then background. Does background have any game mechanics, or is this just flavor? Your background gives you proficiency in certain skills. It says down at the bottom. Oh, the I see. What kind of character do I want to be? I haven't thought about that at all. I'm kind of liking the idea, maybe, of the Outlander. I think that's interesting with the Sorcerer, with the Wild Magic. Like skills and athletics and survival seems like it might be reasonably useful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do I... I don't have any ability points to add to the skill proficiencies, right? Uh, you can subtract and add, and you can redistribute them if you want. Oh, I see. Um, but this is... I, I'll say from the basics, this is a decent uh, okay. spread for a sorcerer. Then I'm not going to stress that. I'm going to come. The... Yes. If you look at the bottom, you can check uh, change skill proficiencies. Oh, okay. Um, so two of them come from your your background, but you should you'll be able to pick two others if if um, Arcana and Deception aren't the ones you want. You can pick Religion, uh, Insight, Intimidation, and Persuasion. It mm. looks like you can change change to any of those. I feel like I don't want deception. I feel like I'd rather have persuasion. Yeah. I mean, I'm just not a good liar myself, take, and I. Yeah. Yeah, you don't tend to take like the super hostile, like evil no. or being <laughs> mean to NPC route. Right. I think I'd rather try. It goes with that friends thing, right? I'd rather try to persuade. Okay, I like that. Perfect. Now I can come back to my actual appearance, right? Yes. Yes. Edit appearance. Let's do this. Uh, the eyes are very cool. It's very osmium poisoning. I like... Uh, I agree. <laughs> osmium turns the whites of your <laughs> eyes black. It does. Um, I still want to be purple. I like the idea of purple. Now I'm sold on it. Uh, let's see. I don't... I hear a voice. Hmm. What was that? Let's hope the locals are friendly. Sure, that's a fine voice. I'm like, I know I may hear it a lot, but, uh... That is fine. Scarring? So you're a wizard or a sorcerer? I don't remember. I am a sorcerer. Okay. And you're a bard? I. You know what? I changed my mind again. I'm gonna go yeah. for... Because I do... I like the idea of an illusionist, so I'm gonna go for... I think illusionist is... Wizard, I guess. Yes. Okay. Go for it. It's kind of fun. Maturity. What does that do? Oh, it gives her. Uh... She can be maybe like there. Freckle quantity. So many freckles. Uh, we can do medium freckles. Uh, I think that's good. Is that really all the? Oh, no, here it is. Here's the rest of it. I was like, that can't be all of it. Oh, my God. I could become, like... Was that the Insane Clown Posse? No, thanks. 
<laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I think I'll just and keep when, it. Yes. At what point would I... Because, like, as I'm looking at wizard stuff, like, is it, the idea of, like, illusionist comes later, is that something that gets picked, like, later, that gets more specific later? I think so. I'm not entirely... I haven't played a wizard in Baldur's Gate 3. I think in 5th edition you get to choose a specialty... Uh, a magic specialty at level two. Gotcha. Okay. So look for it then. In the meantime, just pick illusion type spells. It's a good idea. I'm gonna ease up on the makeup a little bit. Okay, that's fine. Hair. Yes. Hairstyles. Oh my god. Incredible. Let's see if I can see the back of it. Oh, the Moon Brita cut. That's pretty cool. Oh, I like this one. The undercut and the bun in the back. Um, I'm gonna try that and look at horns. And then see if I want different hair. Because I think... Oh, those are pretty neat. They stick off the top. I can't see the whole thing. Those are very Kunari. I think... Maybe kind of a medium horn. Is what I want. Is that too medium? Yeah. You can mess with the colors. I just saw that. Oh my god. There's so many choices. I should have known. Black, blue. The thing is, it starts to get weird with the um, purple. So I think I'm gonna stick with a neutral. Maybe make it a little darker. Sure. Oh, interesting. And change the tip color. Maybe if I do something like this and then have the hair be that color. I will also say that these aesthetic choices can be changed later in the game. If you that is so you good. Take your look in a different direction. That is really good to hear because something I've been a little concerned about is like what happens. If she's in cutscenes, and I'm like, oh god, that's horrible. <laughs> it might be too much. It might be, it's a lot of color. But you know what? That's kind of fun. Okay, let me go back to hairstyle just, just for a second. Look at the other hairstyles. That does not work with the horns at all. It's kind of funny. Funny you should say that. I think that might be what Autumn went with. Oh. <laughs> I don't tend to go for the long hair. This is very, like, I don't know, kind of wizard. Just kind of neat. They have a pretty good variety. Oh my god, there's so many. There's so many more than I thought there were. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to go through all of these. Holy crap. Um, I liked the one up here pretty well. This one, you know, this one is kind of fun, but okay. I'm just going to go with this one and we'll call it good. And then if I decide that I want to change it, I will. Okay. Enter character's name. I'm going to go with Errol. And yeah, I am ready to proceed. How are you doing, Cold Run? I am doing all right. I'm just um, looking at a lot of these. Uh, gosh, a lot of the spells are just very cool. I was expecting it. I'm, I'm not. I've never played a D and D game before, and I was expecting it to be just like look for the one with the most power. But a lot of them are just kind of, I don't know, flavorful. Yes, That's why I appreciate mm -hmm. that. Yeah, um, they have. They tend to have some that are very utility and some that are damaging and some that are AoE or single target and 
just different flavors. There's a there's a lot even at low level. Yeah, I'm going for a lot of um, a lot of uh, what do you call it? Just conjuration or just a lot of the the utility ones. And so hopefully I'll be able to hit something, but maybe not. Okay. If Sounds you good. have at, if you at least have one offensive cantrip like firebolt, uh, you're go you're golden. Everything else can be whatever you want it to be. Because oh, okay, and even honestly, even then, uh, you can just have a crossbow and shoot things in combat if you don't want to cast spells. Yeah. Okay. So the main thing, since you, I didn't know that you hadn't ever played D and D before. So yeah. the thing about D and D is cantrips are always free, so you can use them over and over again. The spells you're limited on in between the times that your character rests. So they the spells will be bigger effects that you get less often. Cantrips you get as much as you want. Okay. So what I'm going with for spells that looks like are... Oh, th I think... I can't believe this is a spell. This is like a Joker poison thing. Kasha's hideous laughter. <laughs> The cards yeah. try to shake off. This is is this leave a creature prone with laughter without the ability to get up? That's like, that's a weird yeah. like tickle torture spell. That's <laughs> awful. That's great. You know, I I don't remember it being first level. I think they might have moved it down. Wow. Um, uh, my question, real quick, is for Hatstand. If I hit proceed, will that take me to the cutscene? It will not. Okay. Um. Because Choose one. Oh god. You won't go to a cutscene until you venture forth. Good to know. Okay. Um because I was gonna say... wait for both people to be at that point. To... Oh fantastic. Okay. Well I'm not gonna describe what's happening here yet. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna keep looking at hair until Cold Run is ready. <laughs> Okay, I am. I have. I got my character. I have. I basically hit random until I got a, a wizard, and apparently a rock gnome is a raisin. That's kind of awesome. Okay. Um, so I am proceeding. I think. Okay, yeah, because yeah. I changed my name or changed my mind on the hairstyle. I need a guardian. Uh. Yeah, that's where I am too. We need a guardian. Choose one. Uh. Okay. Does this? And I have no idea what I this is for. I make use of the randomize appearance button and just click yeah. through until I find something I like. That's just me. I think okay, that's I a great it. idea. Yeah. Interesting. A pretty big... You know what? That looks cool. She looks cool. Do I need to choose anything else? For this person, it's just appearance. Okay, yep. then I'm gonna venture forth. And so, should I wait until you venture forth, or I guess we both? I, I'll, I'll, I'm hitting venture forth. Okay, I am going to stop. Okay, this is the cutscene I've seen. <laughs> it's so great. I'm so excited about this. I was not expecting us to be on a, on like a flying squid. Right? No Boy, one expects the flying like... squid. No. Oh, he's got a lot of steps to climb. Yep. Look at this thing. And then, hell yeah, dragons. <laughs> Oh, the ship is like a Nautilus. It's like, I didn't even, I thought it was a regular airship with tentacles. No, it's like a full-on, like, Nautilus ship. 
right? Those are the dragons with riders on them. Yup. And they are... Oh! <laughs> They are anti Nautilus, which is pretty great. Yeah. I like how it showed the dragons teleporting in at the beginning, so it's like, this is clearly some kind of multi dimensional fight chase. Oh, I didn't even get that. I just assumed yeah. it to another state or something. I assume it's a different dimension. I guess I don't know. Are if dimensions were... a thing in D&D? Like, yes. I don't know. Okay. okay. It's, it's, it's a multi-planar <laughs> thing. So you can play Spelljammer in this uh, old setting in 2nd edition, where it's literally in space. Kind of oh. litter out between the different planes. Okay. Right? Oh shit. Right. We are on this Nautilus. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it kind of looks that way. Oh, and there's the demons? Yeah, yeah. The little devils, yeah. Yep. Hell is just another plane of existence. <laughs> I guess. Okay, that is quite an opening. Right? Oh, man. I'm excited. And so, was that... Was the yellow um, character... Um, with kind of the was that you or was that an NPC? I think that was an NPC. Okay. The one who who fell out because we it was from our point of view. I have a checkbox that says private dialogue. Should I check it or no? I think no, okay. because my understanding is that if it's not checked, then we can listen in on each other's dialogues. Mm. And that's what we want to be able to do. So, like, if I go to talk some to somebody, I'll let you know, and then you come over and listen in. My head. Oh, Not that I know how that works. Head. Hello, I think that's you. There I am. And Journal there you update. are. <laughs> Escape the Nautiloid. Basic movement. Move to start your adventure. Click the ground or hold left mouse button to move towards your cursor. Okay. Oh, now I I'm get my, really... this is my first chance. Oh, there's a Mind Flayer pod near you. I actually get my, this is my first chance to inspect Errol, I think. I'm trying, oh, trying, yeah. trying to see. Oh, examine. Okay. By the way, can I come over oh, and yeah, say hi like to you? Yeah, yeah I've purple. got. Yeah, and I've got purple skin and blue hair. It's very fun. How do I inspect you? Uh, examine. I... Yeah. Look at you. You're tiny. That's amazing. I hope you see you do every time I. Every time I randomize this, I always get the, <laughs> the ones or the uh, whatever these are. Yeah, that is so good. Okay, so if I click on this is the pool nursery. that thing came from, the parasite now writhing behind your eye. Oof. I'm listening in. Did they have to remind me about the parasite writhing behind my eye? And oh. so I have three options here too. So that lets me like vote for one, I guess, or I think so. Yeah. All right, I so... think I want to see how, what it looks like if you vote. Okay, so I'm gonna pick um, reach towards the pool because my character doesn't have any common sense apparently. <laughs> okay, I see your little like um, cauldron icon next to reach towards the pool, and I'm going to ignore your vote and I'm gonna Absolutely. investigate skill checks. Some dialogue options require a skill check. A dice roll that must meet or exceed a target number. 
Your skills add a bonus to the roll. Okay, of course. So this is uh, difficulty 20, click dice to roll. And I can add a bonus, or, sorry, but I 10. don't know what that means. I, I guess I just add a number. Well, like, why would I not add a bonus? Right? I think you can... Can I add a bonus? Add a bonus. So I oh, just, I can like, choose bonus. to add advantage with my Tides of Chaos, but I only have to roll a 10 or higher, so I think I'm just going to click the die without advantage. Oh, God. Oh, no. Well, I failed <laughs> because I got nine and I needed yeah, ten. Yeah, promising start here. Nothing more than meets the eye. Hmm. Well, guess I'm reaching towards the pool. That's right, just like I suggested. <laughs> oh, oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! The nursery shot you. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm at five eight health. All right. Oh, you're well. Yeah, okay. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's what you get. That's what I get. Oh my god! I should have. I should have used advantage. Okay, wait. What about the mind player pod? This will go I'd better. Still be stuck inside if we hadn't been attacked. Oh, maybe not. No, I can use. Someone else got out. Not getting back in that thing. Okay, so I can't use it. I can't go. Okay, let's wander around and see. Oh, do you think there's a lootable mind flare? But I don't know if we can go there directly. Uh, where where's the lootable mind mind flare? Uh, up above you, across the across the flaming nursery. I found it. Bloodstone. Take all. Dead. I don't know Good. if you can also get the stuff or if it's just me. Oh, I can loot the body, and there's nothing on it. Oh, damn. So it's one or the other of us, I guess. And that's okay. Can we, so can, let's say, hypothetically, you wanted to give me the bloodstone. Can we trade? Is that a thing in this um, game? Probably I can not. attack you. I don't want to do that. Yes. Throw... Let me get um, experts in. If you hit tab, it will show the party and their inventories. And if your inventory is unlocked... You can move, freely move items from one person to another. If you didn't want, like if Andrew is like, no, I don't trust Laura to, you know, treat my inventory fairly, you can <laughs> lock your inventory. Um, but, you know, you're okay. friends, so. I gave so, like, you if, if I a pick up, stone. like, if I, if I loot something and I pick up, like, the, the charismatic, like, belt of charisma like i can give it to you i'm not locked into it yeah Love i it. hope that's what that means okay um oh i can look at my spell book i can look at your spell book character sheet oh nice of course character sheet cool that's cool beans so that's tab tab is helpful there's um, actually an underwear it's not over and through so okay. that it can prevent nudity. Yes. Uh, okay. I told it I have... to prevent nudity because I'm like, this is going on YouTube, and I feel like YouTube would prefer me to. <laughs> it's going to be, it could because if you ever get one of those romance scenes, it could be like the Dragon Age Origins thing, where it's just two people, like, in their shorts and t-shirts or whatever. Or like, right. In their underwear, just doing push-ups. And so... Okay, I found a giant conch shell that restored me and you apparently for eight hit points which is good but i feel like i, I used it up which seems bad well i mean i assume no, i used it up no it looks oh, like oh nice shoot. i did it maybe <laughs> did you use it up oh no it, it replenishes know. oh thank god they're being very nice to us okay maybe we just leave or look wait wait there's a thing here oh i can't reach it i just wanted to take one last Wait, our underwear is different. Okay, so like my underwear is like <laughs> like culottes. Okay, simple robe. Okay, I think that's everything in here. I've been exploded on. I've been healed. Let's let's bust this joint. Sphincter. Right. Oh, sorry. There's. I'm also seeing. I have items. So there's a keychain, an alchemy pouch. A camp supply sack. A scroll of revivify. A music box. I have a music box. Oh, that's cool. Uh, 
If I use it, does it do anything? It plays music. I there. I don't know what I was expecting. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you're a bard, right? So I'm not. I'm a, I'm a wizard. Oh shit! You're a wizard. That's right. Okay, then I don't know. Okay. Uh, lead on. Um. Okay. Through the sphincter. Something I. Oh, Definitely. I thought you were making a What's joke that was actually the sphincter. Okay. It is actually the sphincter. Uh, use E or Q to rotate. Nice. I don't often play games on my computer. This might be the first time I've played a game like this on my computer. So, oh, you we'll see how the in mechanics go. Zoom, or zoom, zoom in or out. Oh, nice. Good call. Illithid so got... records? Images yeah. of goblins, their habits and histories flash into your mind. Do you get the narrator voice Images when I click on goblins, that? Yes. Okay, good. And you get it too, right? Yeah. Mind. Excellent. Goblin? Has... Wait, did anything flash into my mind? I'm gonna try picking this up. Like, wait, read? Images of goblins, no. their habits Sorry. and histories flash Oh, that's fine. I picked pick up, up the money. Oh. oh, no, I can pick up the Illithid record. Cool. How'd you do that? I right-clicked on it, and I went to pick up. There's a chair behind you. And as I get stuff, should we, like, read it out? Like, I'm, I have, there's a description on the Illithid record. Oh, yeah, go for it, please. A Mind Flayer tablet, elegant and alien. It seems to bypass the eyes and project information straight into one's brain. Good... Okay, this says viscous chair, not vicious chair, which is what I first thought it said. Nonetheless, I'm going to sit. Yes? No? Anything? No, well, I tried nothing. to sit and there wasn't enough space. I'm sorry. I can't like, well, be like a cat. Okay. Rain jar. Wait, I... A oh, I so, can I, examine... Something messed up for me. Um... Uh -oh. Now, like, the camera's locked in place to figure out how to unlock it or how to center it on my character. Oh, I never mind. I worked. I found home. Okay. I am examining the brain jar. You're going to be shocked at this. It's a jar with a brain in it. A humanoid brain, alive, and in perfect condition, suspended in cerebrospinal fluid. Oh, delicious. It has one hit point. How do I get out of this? Oh, the world's tiniest X button. Okay. A schematic of a nautiloid flashes into your mind. Nerves, sinews, as much living being as ship. I can read this. Uh, I, I, it said Errol Reed, and then nothing. There we go. Mind. Nope. Oh, okay. Yes. Normally, one like ourselves, unconnected from the whole. Caution. So if you pick up the rune slate, does it give you, does the description say just what the text said? Good question. Okay, I picked it up. And then how do I look at my inventory? I think it's just I. Okay. Rune slate. Holding this tablet causes a flash of inscrutable images to appear before the eyes before vanishing, leaving a mild headache in their place. So that's different than... But if I, I think I can say read again, and it will probably do the narrator thing again. Mm. Okay, well, there's another rune slate over there. You want to grab that one on A the left? Feeling penetrates your mind. An anomaly, one like ourselves, unconnected from the whole. Caution. Wash it. Okay. Uh, so yeah, in the description the same thing. Okay. Cerebral horticulture. Worlds oh, beyond worlds flash yep. before your eyes. Empires of a grand design traversed by ships just like this. So there's like an illithid empire of some kind. Can I pick up the chair? No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Are you hearing the voice telling you to release them? Yeah, there's some kind of like weird little like 
voice. Like Children of the Corn style, like, release us, like... Yeah. Like... yeah. Brine that's... bulbs have 24 health. Uh-oh. I mean, that's bad. That's way more than us. Uh, where am I going? What are we trying to do? Well, there's... There is a... Did you try to kill... Should we try to kill the Cerebral or interact with the Cerebral Aquarium? Wait, wait, wait. Neural Apparatus. Okay. Oh, oh shit! I, I can't get uh, to you. I'm right. so sorry. It's an elevator. No, you're good. Oh, it's I'm coming back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming back down. Up on. There's another. There's another one over here. It looks like. It doesn't do anything. Oh, but it doesn't do anything. Okay. Hop on the elevator. That's the call with me. button. Oh, for the elevator. That makes oh, sense. Oh, bring it back down. Okay. Pull lever. Okay, here's another neural apparatus. I wonder if that's... So that's the call button up here. Probably. There was something down there that was a... Back down there that was a... It was... I'm going to see if it's trying... I can't highlight it just yet. There was something weird down there. Did you want to go back down? I do. I, that might have been the... Um, cerebral Aquarium. I looked at that. Yes. Do you interact with it? Okay. Yeah, nothing happened. Or at least I examined it. I examined it, at least. Oh, that's the Murnath is the one saying that, under operation. The voice came from Murnath. Where in the world do you see that? Um, just up ahead. This, this guy. Release us. Oh. Under operation. Okay, I'm, I'm talking to... With the tent oh. Uh, I see you starting to come uh, I'm listening in. Perfect. Oh no. Yes! You've come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us! The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. Before they return! They return. This is more gruesome than I was expecting, and I, I kind of love it. Yeah. Now, I know one other thing about this game, but unfortunately, I don't think I know enough, which is somewhere in the beginning here, there's somebody that you either help or kill, and doing one of those things gets you a really badass sword. And I don't remember which one, and I don't know if it's this person. Okay. So, that's not terribly helpful. You know what? I like your vote. You sound afraid. Why? The enemy. So many enemies. Oh. Who am uh, I talking to? A man or a brain? Yeah. A newborn. Born me from this house. You so a brain. You're talking to an intellect devourer. A minion of the mind flares who abducted you. Huh. Good catch. Interesting. Uh, and so the new, I tend to go with the new option then. Like the new option, because it's trying to trick us, right? It's presumably if you didn't have that, you would just be like, yes, I will, I will put you in my, I will kiss you brain or whatever the, the, <laughs> the bad option is. Oh, right? It does seem like it's probably bad. The question is, who are the enemies that they're talking about? Are they talking about all the people around here? Like us and our people? Or are they talking about the Mind Flayers? Like, maybe they don't like being a minion of the Mind Flayers. That's or maybe possible. maybe I choose this thing and then it devours my intellect and mm -hmm. it's a game over. If it is, that will be a dramatic moment. So I'm okay with that. Oh, it's true, yeah. I feel, let me, I'm, mm. I think you're past the point of saving, tell me what to do. Remove us from this body, from this case, free us, please. Because I'm kind of curious to see, like, this to me seems, and we, okay, good, we can still destroy the brain if we decide to. Yes. No oh boy. All right. So it's another intelligence one. See if I can not get exploded on this time. <gasps> Thank God. You notice a demon, a swelling of the brain, causing.
causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull. So, Ooh. here's like the thing, right? Like, if we take this brain out, what does it want to go in a jar? Maybe it wants to go in a jar. Okay, I'm gonna try attempting a cerebral extraction. Oh! I get advantage. I, have... I wonder yeah. why, if that's like because I had passed the previous one. Anyways, advantage is good. It rolls two dice and takes the higher, which is really oh, nice. Oh, it doesn't add them. Okay. Yeah, that would make, no. that make sense. It, it means you're more likely to succeed, but you're not guaranteed. Okay. Oh! Oh no! Why did I choose this? The brain lifts from the skull. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. It feels mean-spirited. Use your dexter- only the most dexterous can mutilate the brain. Uh, but it's careful mutilation. That's true. You're just destroying, like, the parts- certain parts of it. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think that's the safer option at this point. Okay. But there's a chance it'll be pissed at you oh. if it doesn't work. Is there a way to say never mind? I don't. I don't mean it. Once I see the difficulty class, <laughs> it sure doesn't look like it. I am going to oh. use my tides of chaos to give myself advantage. Unless you have a different idea. No, go for it. Okay. I think I can only use this tides of chaos like once per rest or something, probably. But this seems worthwhile. Oh no. Uh, Still insufficient. You might kill the brain or just make it angry. Yeah. Oh dear. Whoops. Do I drop it? Oh no, the thumb! <laughs> oh no, the thumb! You just start headbutting it. You're just the worst mm -hmm. brain surgeon ever. <laughs> I think it might die now because I. Oh no, it's gonna attack me, isn't it? Yep. Oh, <gasps> it's got feet! It's so cute! Look what you did now. Newborn. Use jump. Well, it ran away. It I did. guess that's okay. And now this guy's ass over tea kettle here. He's got nothing else I can take. I already took his brain. All right, I think at this point, though, we're going to have to call it here for the first episode, and we will have to continue this the next time, um, once I figure out how to save the game. Uh, oh, up in the top, in-game menu, save game, perfect. So, yeah, this is delightful. We will have to continue exploring this place um, the next time. We'll see you then. Bye. Oh, Bye. nice. <laughs>